folks, and welcome to my review on the new Jedi Order series. We're reviewing everything books, comic books, short stories, and yes, even ebooks. Folks, that's what we're going to go over today. Uh, this is an ebook called A Practical Man. It was later reprinted in the book Sacrifice, uh, which happened way later, but it's from the same author, which is why it was included in that book, Karen Travis. Now, in this short story, uh, No Minar recruits Boba Fett and his Mandalorians to help the Vong uh, in their battle against the Republic, against the galaxy. Because No Minar has been around for a while now, and he knows the Mandos are someone you don't mess with. He also knows that they go to the highest bidder, and they care about themselves first and foremost. Now, he's right for the most part here, because Boba Fett agrees to work with him. Remember, we already had the Star Wars Tales 18 issue, uh, Revenant, where Hayden Blackman told us uh, that Boba Fett was working for the Vong. Okay, and he actually told Han that. But what we don't know, and Karen Travis kind of adds a little bit more to the storyline because she had a great idea for Boba Fett and the Mandos. That's why she kind of fit this in here. But she wants uh, Boba Fett to be a double agent. Like, yeah, he's working for the Vom, but he's giving information to the Republic. He doesn't join the Republic because he's Boba Fett. He's an independent man, and he just cares about the people of Mandalore. Suddenly, Boa Fett has turned into a, you know, awesome bounty hunter. He, you know, if you, if you have the right price, he'll get your guy. To now he's kind of some, some kind of savior of his planet. Not really sure. I appreciate that transition. And I don't think that that's what Boa Fett would be. But yeah, maybe older. He has, you know, more respect for the old ways, for the old Mandalore. Maybe he's thinking back on his uh, dad, Django, and saying... Yeah, I should do something for Mandalore, because my dad always wanted that. He wanted a free Mandalore, a, a united people or whatnot. So that seems to be his goal going forward. I guess it's okay, and I'll talk about this way later down in the storyline. Uh, but for right now, what it is, it's fine. Now, the great thing about Karen Travis writing this, it was an ebook, so it had to be short. I'm kidding there, but uh, it's not a bad storyline. I understand why they did it, because, again... Uh, Karen Travis wrote it because she didn't want you thinking that was going to mess up a storyline she had uh, with Boa Fett. And Boa Fett can't be just in league with the Vong. That would make him an enemy. Well, duh. He's the bad guy. He's the villain. But she didn't want that, so she kind of did this to kind of smooth things over. It's not a bad uh, e-book. I remember reading it when it came out. Um, I kind of bought these. <laughs> Get this. I didn't have a Nook or a, a Kindle. I had a Sony e-reader. Yeah, I always choose the independent candidate, no matter what, right? And so I remember I downloaded all these on my Sony e-reader um, and read them all, all, all of these. In fact, I think e-books started during the New Jail Order. We hadn't seen an e-book before, and it kind of ticked me off at first because I was like, oh, e-books, no, I don't want to do electronic books. But then they'd always reprint it in a paperback novel later on down the road, so that kind of made it worth its while. Now, I always bought the e-book. E-books were like three bucks back then. The little short stories were. So I always bought them. You know, I, I complained and bellyate, but I bought it every time. And uh, later on, I would buy that paperback version just to get it in print because I love seeing things in print. So just like this one and like the other ones, I got it. Is it necessarily needed? I guess so, to explain a later, way later on story arc. But uh, overall, I think I agree with the idea of Boba Fett going for the highest bidder at this point, because why would he care about the Republic? I mean, yeah, he's kind of the anti-hero at this point. He's so cool. But remember, he is the villain. He is a bad guy. Remember, he's a mercenary. I don't know. So, I mean, what do you think? Do you think it should have gone that direction of Hayden Blackman, or are you more with Karen Travis? Well, if I put it that way, you're just going to go with whatever author you like better, right? But uh, either way, I kind of like the Hayden Blackman storyline a little bit better than how Karen Travis kind of changed it. But again, that's just me. All right, folks, this is a short one today, but I guarantee you it's going to be a nice long one next time. See you then.